Hello fellow Silmacians, ICCSLM here is back for another video and it's the dimensions of Silmac and as I say this I realize yet again that I don't have my uh, title page sheet like I always have. Um, we'll have to do without it for now but today is a very very important episode because it is finally here. This right here is a package from the Game Crafter, and within it, the dimensions of Silmac. I'm going to get right into this package right now. Ah! See, my excitement has made me clumsy. Here we go. I feel horrible right now. There we go. Awesome. Let's open this package. It's easiest for me to just open this up uh, back here, so bear with me for one moment. Do, 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 do. Ha, ha, ha. I, you have no idea how exciting this is. I'm so excited to finally see something that I've been working on for, I believe, several years. And it's going to be made, and, and they're going to be actual cards. Like, not just paper ones, but real, kind of cool, good-feeling cards. All right. <sighs> Let's take a look inside the box. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, there they are. Take a look, everybody. The first two, oh, it just started raining, great. The first two dimensions of Silmac booster packs. So here we go, on the pack we have at the top, we have set one, portals of Silmac, the dimensions of Silmac, TCG created by Ian Cutting YouTube, I see see us on the tier. And it contains 15 cards, eight common cards, six uncommon cards, and one rare card. Let's uh, fix this. I have a new kind of stand thing, so I've been trying to bear with it here. I haven't used it in a while. There we go. And we've got two of these booster packs to open up. So we're going to have 30 cards. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get right into this. So here we go. The first one on the back, um, taking a look, we've got two of the portal symbols for the set one, and then we've got the six kind of dimension symbols, which it turned out pretty all right. Look at that. Look at that. We've got the uh, weather, sea, and terrain down there. And we got light, ominous, and inferno up here along with the ether symbol. Um, oh. All right, let's open this up and take a look. Yoink. And I'm just going to fold the sticker in on itself so it doesn't get sticky. I don't want the stickiness. There we go. Open it up. Oh! The first pack we open. Flax Spider Queen. We have a mythic rare. Or no, sorry. I'm calling them heroic rares. They are heroic rares. So it came in the rare card slot. Um, the way the Game Crafter had me work it was that I, I couldn't just make a extra rare, uh, I couldn't make a random card slot, so I put them in with the rare cards. So you're going to get a rare card, a champion, or a heroic rare. So look at that. The first pack we open. Slack Spider Queen. Wow. There we are. It's a level 10. 10 attack, 10 health. When Slack deals damage to an enemy, it is poisoned and takes 1 damage at the beginning of that monster's turn. Send an enemy monster back to its owner's hand. Wow, and this is card number 59 of 120, Portals of Silmax on Lord Games. And I'd like to just take a minute to admire the fact here. Look at that. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So I'm just going to have to edit the back, it looks like. the um, It looks like the bo the, there's a border up here and a border over here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change that before the game comes out that's why they send it to me first to double check with things 
So wow, and uh, feeling actual cards. This is so amazing. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. Zombie with claws. We got a level two, two attack, two health. Revenge, when one of your other monsters die, a target monster loses its card text. And undead, living dead. So it's got a revenge ability. A lot of the cards kind of have different changed abilities now. That was one of the six uncommon cards, so we're going to put it over here. Next up, we got Mist Confusion, a weather card. We got uh, level 5, 7 ether. Erase all card text on every card on the field. Make an enemy monster attack another enemy monster or player. And this is card number 109. I forgot to mention that uh, Zombie with Claws was number, card number 5. Wow. And just looking at the cards, looking at the art on the cards, and they're shiny, seeing the uh, their text, everything looks really smooth. Um, wow. I just want to see if it's the same on the back of this one. Uh, yes, the border is slightly different on this. So I'm just going to remove the border entirely. Like shrink the border down to nothing so that there is no black border on the back of the card. That will fix the problem. So again, when it comes out, that black border won't be there on the back of the card. But moving on from Mist Confusion, we've got... Look at that, Depth Flame. So Depth Flame, level 3, 3 attack, th or 4 health, the deepest flame ever. And it's card number 54 of 120. Oh... <sighs> This looks great. My camera, my camera isn't good. I've been looking through it the uh, entire time, but looking at the card itself, wow, I'm blown away. I'm blown away by this. That was the first common, by the way, as well. We'll just put that down here, uh, even though that's kind of out of the way. Here, let's move it up this way. Okay, common. There we go. Uh, next up, we got Fax Reflector. Uh, it's a level two, two attack, five health with Guardian, so it must be attacked first, and it focuses light at its foes. It's card number 35 of 120. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Blown away. So excited. All right, moving on. Kairos, level three. Uh, three attack, four health, friendly. When a monster enters your side of the battlefield while Kairos is in play, deal two damage to an enemy target. And it's got eight, or it's card number eight. Wow. Sorry, guys. I should, oh, I'm gushing over this. I'm just, it's so amazing. Uh, Fireheart Commander. Um, so it's a level two, one attack, one health friendly when there are three monsters on the field. So this can, could count as one of the three. You summon a level four or lower monster from your hand. So if you played this as the third monster, or if you played this on turn two and then turn three, played another turn three monster, then boom, level four monster from the hand. Pretty good card. It's also card number 115. And they're so shiny that I need to try and focus my light off of it. But there we go, Fireheart Commander. Moving on, that was number four for the uh, um, uh, uncommons. Uh, next up, Snow Dance. It's a. Is this our first spell? This is our first spell card. Surprising. Um, but level three, five ether. Enemy monsters can't attack next turn. Deal one damage to all monsters. Card number 40. Uh, so we're going to try and go just a wee bit faster now. Let's move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. And of course, my camera falls over again. Great. I love, I love my production value in this video. Here we go. Stand that up. No, please, camera. Please. I swear I know how I'm, what I'm doing. Okay. Mystic Elf. So it's level two, two attack, three health, ether bound. If five ether was spent this turn, Mystic Elf was played, or was spent the turn Mystic Elf was played, all spells cost one less ether to cast. So it is card number four. Mystic Elf, taking a look at it. Wow. That is so cool. Okay, moving on. We've got Golden Hands. So Golden Hands, it's level 2, 5 ether. Choose an enemy monster in the crypt and put it into your opponent's hand. Give one of your monsters 2 attack damage and 2 health. It's card number 55. Oh, another common. Aha, okay, so we got our rules card. 
So each pack also has a rules card. It doesn't say on the booster pack itself. Maybe I should fix that as well. But um, rules card. So we've just got a little bit of kind of um, rules here. I will be making a rules video so that you guys can understand everything in more detail. But, um, but this is just a little reminder kind of card. So each deck is made out of 30 chosen cards. Each player starts with 40 life. At the start of every turn, that player has 5 ether except accessible to them. So on the turn, at the beginning of the turn, you draw a card. Uh, next, you choose one of the six dimensions to increase a level in. After the level is higher, you may play only one monster card with an equal or less than level from your portal size in that chosen dimension. Note, level 5 monsters or higher must wait until the turn after they are played in order to attack. Level 5 or lower monsters may attack immediately. Any number of spells may be played as long as you have the ether available to you. And on the reverse side, side 2, it says when you play a champion card, it is played to the side and you must defeat it before it will join you. They do not do damage to your monsters and have a turn after yours in which they attack you directly. Only you may attack a champion that you placed. Once it is defeated, it joins your side on the field and it acts like a player. If the enemy attacks you, the damage is moved to the champion instead. They also provide an ether boost equal to the number, or the ether number on the card. And then we just have a symbol thing at the bottom. So champion cards, spell cards, surprise cards, equip cards, and the dimension symbols. So, yeah, I did, I changed a lot of the rules when it comes to those champion cards. But, um, that's that. So next up, Guardian of the Pier, card number 41. We got level 1, 1 attack, 2 health, avenge. When one of your other monsters die, kill Guardian of the Pier instead. Hmm. Alrighty, moving on. Boom. Oh, I copy it. Okay, then. <laughs> I thought I selected, uh, uh, wow. Okay, so two Guardian of the Piers right next to each other. That's interesting. And that ties up the uncommons. So next up, we've got Chained Phantom, next common. Um, so level three, three attack, three health, it's card number seven, his last moments, we're in that jail, and he's an undead monster. And the last card here, it feels like, nope, second last, Thunder Walker, awesome. All right, Thunder Walker, level four, six attack, three health, when Thunder Walker is defeated, it moves the enemy field fully healed. If defeated there, it is then sent to the grave, 106. So it's a powerful card, but it could be used poorly against you. Um, there are some spells in the weather dimension that negate the fact that it's on the enemy field, and you can explore that as you get the game as well, but it can be used very strongly in a deck that has the cards that help it be good, basically. Um, and then moving on to the last card, another Golden Hands. Um, we just opened a Golden Hands back here, so we got two Golden Hands, two Guardian of the Peers, Chain Phantom Thunderwalker. We got a good amount of uh, dimensions. Was there? A, yeah, no, we didn't get any C dimension at all. We got Inferno. Um, we got inf wait. We got Inferno, Ominous, Weather, and Light. Oh, and we got one terrain. So we're missing out on C dimension. That's about it. All right. Uh, let's just get right in to the second pack then. Um, so again. Same thing. Let's just open it right up. I wonder what we'll get for the rare this time. If we get a champion, I'll be very happy. Although I've we we already opened a uh, heroic rare, so all right. First up, Heat Wave is our rare for the pack. Heat Wave. So level four uh, and six ether. Destroy all dimension cards on the field and deal three mo damage to all enemy monsters. So it's a really good kind of AoE uh, spell card that can take out a lot of enemies. Boom. Next up we got another Kairos. We already have Kairos, so we're not going to look at him. Put that, him under there. Bat Imp is next. Uh, level 1, 3 attack, 2 health. Bat Imp does one extra damage to you directly every time he attacks. Interesting, interesting. Moving on. Uh, we got another spell card, Rooting. 
give all your monsters two health. So it's a level four with five ether. Moving on. Sunken Ship is a first equipped card in the two packs here. Um, so it's level five, five ether. Give a friendly monster two health. Once Sunken Ship is played, all sea monsters are immune for your opponent's next turn. So this is the first C card I've opened up. So now we do have at least one card of every dimension. So moving on, we've got a Charming Spy, which we don't have, I believe. No, we do not. So Charming Spy, level 3, 4 attack, 2 health, negate all enemy spell card effects while Charming Spy is on the field. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good uh, spy. <laughs> moving on, Fishnet, another... Um, Another C dimension card, so it's a actually it's a surprise as well. So this is the first surprise we've opened. Uh, level four six ether. All monsters on the battlefield can't attack for two turns unless they are C dimension. So we're gonna keep moving on here, and we've got our first dimension card for the uh, two packs. Cavern snow. It's a level four, so weather damage spells deal one more damage. And ominous monsters cost one level less. Oh, that looks actually really cool. And we got the ominous and weather symbols up here as well. That's how you know it's a uh, dimension card. And it goes sideways instead of up and down. If that makes any sense. Okay, moving on. Undead Shark, another C type. Um, or a, another, uh, yeah, another C dimension monster. Uh, so it's a level one, two attack, two health, undead creature. Not too much to look at for him. Moving on again, we've got a Fex Knight. Is this our first Fex? No, we had we had Fex Reflector. So another, now we have Fex Knight. Uh, level 1, 3 attack, 3 health. All of your monsters that are not Fex lose 1 health. And it's card number 53. I realize I haven't been saying what card number it is because I was trying to speed up. Um, and oh, we got our rules card again. So we already looked at that. We can skip past it. Another dimension card. We've got Under Lake. So it's level four. Sea monsters gain one health. Ominous monsters take one less damage from enemy attacks. Nice. So it's the Sea Ominous uh, dimension card. Moving on. We got another dimension card. We got Fog Beach, which is the Weather Sea. Interesting. So um, Fog Beach. Wait a minute. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, Fog Beach. Here we go again. Um, sea monsters gain one health. Weather monsters gain one attack damage while I try and one handedly fix my stand here. Okay, cool. So, Fog Beach. Next up, we got Lightning Fry, which is a weather spell card. So, five ether and level five. Deal five damage to any target. So, it's a good just boom, zap, deal damage. Moving on, I think our second last card, yes, second last card, we got another spell card, Solar Energy. Um, so it is a level 5 with 1 ether, and you start your next two turns with 5 extra ether points. Moving on to the final card, another Snow Dance. Alright, awesome! We got a good range of cards, like not too many copies, we got a couple of, um, we've got, like we got a couple of copies. And even, and the copies were only like two cards. We didn't get any triple copies of anything. But there we go. The first, well, the third pack opening video for the game on the channel. But the first pack opening of the, like, full set one kind of completed version of it. So, the game will be out now very shortly. Um, I'm not sure if I can just go on the website now and post um, and post it. I, I do want to change the slight fact that the back is odd. And then as soon as that gets changed, the game will be released. So, um, yeah, look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Alrighty. Well, uh, once I get that back fixed and the game is released, I will be posting a very short um, just release video saying the game is out, go check it out, and there will be a link in, in that video to, um, to the 
Game Crafter, where you can get the game yourself. Um, but yes, I can't think of anything else for this video, just other than saying thank you all very much. It's because of you guys and all of your support that has got me this far, that, that got me this far. I would never have uh, been able to get this far without you guys, because you guys kind of helped me continue on over the last couple of years. I mean, I finished the first set, but even after the first set was done, I kept working on the computer to try and get these cards out to you, and well, here's the result. I think it turned out pretty good. It looks, it looks, it looks truly great. Here's, um, here's Slack Spider Queen, old Sp Spider Queen, and here's the new Slack Spider Queen. So as you can see, I, uh, I did have to change, or I did have to remake the art. I had to redraw the art to get the full art into the card correctly, but I like the new template a lot more than the old template. Um, and when I do start working on the second set again, I will be working extra hard on art because I know there were a lot of art. There was a lot of art in the first set that I wasn't proud of, but yes. That's it. Um, it should be out in the next couple of days, so I'm really excited. And all I can say is thank you all very much for your support. But um, thank you all very much for watching this video as well. Please leave a like down below on what you thought about all these cards and the pack opening. And also, um, did I see le leave a like down below? I, I said leave a like. I, I meant leave a like and leave a comment. But um, um, yeah, I think that's everything. Again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all next time under the sun. Sun Lord is up.